Hey traders, welcome to WeTrade Waves weekly forex forecast. I know a lot of you are waiting this video, so I'll make sure to make it a special one this time and explain you more than usual. So keep watching till the end and let's dive into the charts. DXY, for this one, last week we were expecting market to go up. Instead, we've got a corrective structure, one push down, another pullback, and then this drop. So market didn't move as expected, and we were wrong in this forecast. From here, this up move was clear to us, market went up where everybody was expecting this to fall down. And I explained you this one, guys, step by step, why we were expecting market to go up, and how market went up. Those of you who are new to WeTradeWave's channel, go back and watch this video. In this one, I explained this forecast in details and step by step. Now, after this up move, we said market will go down. Market went down from here to here. We've got a corrective structure, another drop. Last week, we said guys, we're expecting market to go up before any sell setup. And I said to you, if you are in the sell, do not close your trade. You move your stop and let market unfold. Those of you who remember this forecast, give us thumbs up and leave a comment. Now, we were expecting market to go up, instead, market went down. For us, we were waiting market to go up correctively to give us a corrective structure before we go for the sell setups. Alright guys, now let me explain you how this will affect you. Those who were already in the sell, this is perfect. Market is going in your direction. Even if you took profits here, this is amazing. You made profits. And in forex trading, it's always good to take profits. Remember that. Now, those who were not in and get in this buy, I'll explain you every single situation, how you get in if you get in the buy, and what should be your worst case scenario, I will explain this in Euro dollar. Let me explain you what next for the XY and we go for Euro dollar. On Friday, NFP numbers were bad for dollar, even though market went down only from here to here. This is not a big move. And this is not how usually traders and big investors react on these type of moves. Now structurally and based on wave analysis and market structure, we are still bullish, so we will be looking for our buy setups. Regardless of this down wave, we are looking for our buy setup. Remember, this doesn't mean we are jumping in. We will be waiting our setups to get in. So this is not trying to catch a falling knife. What we will do? If we get a buy setup, we will go for the buy setup. Now pay attention to this. Breaking this low or not is not the key. Market can go up even from these levels. One more time, do not jump in. So even on what's happening in US at the moment, and for the bad NFP numbers, the reaction on Friday, it was not big. This gives us a sign that an up move will be coming next. In addition to that, we are in an uptrend. So this is a high, this is higher low, higher high, and here we add at a higher low. That doesn't mean market cannot break this one and go up. Even if market will go down to break this low, we will go for our buy setups only. So if next week market will correct for this down wave, we will not sell the XY. And I will explain you this more once we go to Euro dollar. If we get a corrective structure and market will fall again, we will not sell this one. If this happens, we will go for our buy setups one more time. Is that clear, guys? Now, those of you who are new to WeTradeWave's channel, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to not miss any update. Euro dollar, for this one, last week we were expecting market to go down. Instead, we've got a corrective structure, one will push up. Also for this one, we were wrong. This was one of the trades of the week and market didn't move as expected. So do not expect us to be right every single time and no one can. In fact, I took a sell personally 
and I took a small loss. And here is the thing here. After you get in, you should only get four outcomes. Small loss, break even, small win, or big win. If you are getting any other outcome, your plan needs amendment. And if you are following us blindly, this is what will happen to you. Scenario number one. You are jumping in without using stop loss. At this stage, you are already doing two things incorrectly. Following us blindly and trading without stop loss. Now, market gave us a corrective structure. It went back up. It went back down to the same level. So you have a chance here to get out for break even if you get in the sell. All right? Now, if some of you are over risking, this is another mistake. And this is why I always say to you, do not jump in, do not over risk, do not over trade, and never ever add to losing position. If you just guys print those four rules and put them in front of you every time you trade, you will never lose big while trading. So if anyone of you get in and is in big drawdown or took big loss, type for me in the comment section what mistake you did. Now, some of you might be asking me, all right, Alan, if I will not add to losing position, how can I break even faster? You should not. This leads to big loss and you will eventually break your account. Why? Because you will be doubling your risk while you are thinking or aiming to break even faster. So personally, if it's a loss or if the market start to go against me, I cut losses. And this is what I want you to do every single time you are going to trade. Now remember, some of you might still be in this buy and they are making big profits in this up wave. I took this sell, I made big profits, and then I took this sell and then get out for small loss. At the end of the day, if you know how to manage your losses, your wins will take care of themselves. Is that clear guys? Before we go for what next, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment if you will start to implement those rules starting from now onwards. And by the way, some of you might know like this is what they should do, but they can't do it. Why? Psychology. And this is why in our course, we teach about psychology and having a correct mindset. And I'll give you one more tip that might help you. Bad habits, they need decision and not time. So to break or stop a bad habit, you have to take decision right now at the moment. If you will say I'll do it tomorrow or next week, you will never do it. So bad habits needs decision and not time. Try what I'm explaining you and let me know the results later on. Now, what next for your dollar? This is an impulsive wave. In all the cases, a down move is needed before any next structure what i mean by that if we get a sell setup we will go for the sell setup now what if market will keeps pushing up we are not interested in the buy setups for us before we see this corrective structure to the downside we cannot buy euro dollar so next for this one a down move and we are expecting this wave to be impulsive wave this means sharp and fast no matter if this is a corrective structure or a complex wave, we are expecting this move to be an impulsive wave. Now, what if this one will go up to break this top? It doesn't matter. After breaking this top, we will look for sell setups again. Let me make it clear for you. In all the cases, from here or above this top, we will look for sell setups. More details regarding this structure. And the next wave that might perform here will be explained in detail by T on Sunday session. Guys, Sunday live sessions are part of our in-depth analysis service. And just to let you know, we have implemented a new payment portal where you can pay using your credit or debit card from any part of the world. A lot of you were waiting this and we thought to update you on this new payment portal since some of you have had troubles in the past paying us via PayPal. Now what will you get in our in-depth analysis service? Sunday live session with T. If you cannot attend live, the session will be recorded 
and recording will be available for seven days. You will get midweek review analysis via email. In addition to that, you will get trades of the week and trades of the month. So if you are interested, you can subscribe in just few clicks. Pound dollar, for this one, market is going up from here. We've got a corrective structure, up move. Another corrective structure, another push up. Those of you who are in the buy, now is the time to take profits. You take at least 75 to 80% off and you leave the rest at break even. Why? Anytime market can start a corrective structure downwards. This is the down wave that we are expecting next before this up move. Now this up move is not ready. We need to really see this one how it will perform, what type of structure we'll be getting here, what type of corrective wave and then we go for this one. At the moment, forget about this and focus on this down wave. We will get in only after we get our strategy and our setup. The next wave and the next move for pound dollar is towards the downside. Guys, our next course will be in November. Those of you who are serious about trading, our November course will be a special one. So if you are interested, be ready for it. Aussie dollar for this one, also because dollar was falling, Aussie dollar was going to the upside. So if any of you get in the sale, the worst case scenario, it should be small loss only. Now before we go what next for Aussie dollar, let me give you another tip for stop loss. Do not trade without stop loss until you have a big account and you are trading a small lot size. This is what hedge funds and big traders do. The other scenario where you can trade without stop loss is if you can afford to lose your account. So these are the only two scenarios where you can trade without stop loss. Having a big account and trading a small lot size or where you can afford to lose your account. Otherwise, you should never ever trade without stop loss. And those of you who are thinking about hedging, forget about it. Hedging is very dangerous if you don't know how to use it correctly. Anyway, coming back to Aussie dollar. For this one, we are expecting market to give us this down wave before any up move. Guys, keep watching till the end. Some pairs have a great potential. Dorian, for this one, we said last week this is ready for the fall. If market will go to the upside, we will not buy this one and we are only focusing on our sell setups. Well, market went up and started this down wave. Now, most of you trade dollar yen, they must be already in. If you are in the sell, you move your stops and let market unfold. Do not close your trade. Remember, some of you are in from here and some of you get in here. So if you are in the sell, do not close your trade. Move your stops to break even and let market unfold. The structure here is complex, but if dollar will get stronger, this will push up again before this down wave. Are we going to buy this one? No. We will only be looking for our sell setups and we are already in the sell. Is that clear guys for dollar yen? New Zealand dollar, for this one, market will be going down and we have higher probability chance that we will get more than 200 pips in this down wave. Not only that, for New Zealand dollar, this down move, it can go all the way down to break this low one more time. So if we get a sell setup and we get in, we might not take full profits here. We will take partial profits and we will keep the rest under this low. New Zealand dollar has a potential to go down to break this low one more time. Now just to let you know guys, we have three strategies and we are going to implement our fourth one in November course. And that fourth one will give you a perfect risk to reward. We have refined one of our strategies and the risk to reward will be huge. So those of you who are interested in our course, don't miss out November course. It will be a special one and it's a complete program where we teach you everything. Pound yen for this one, we were expecting market to drop for a corrective structure similar to this one, 
and said, we've got this down wave, an up move after that. This up wave changes the structure. We've got a correction here, another up move. And also that was mentioned in our midweek review email. We've got a corrective structure, one will push up. What next? We are still expecting market to drop under this low before the next structure. What's happening here? This wave gets extended and we are expecting market to give us expansion before any up move. All of you know that here we are sharing the bias. It's not signal service. So trade according to your plan and according to your strategies. The next direction that we are looking for for pound yen is toward the downside. So if we need to take any trade, we'll be going for sell setups, not buy setups. US oil, this was trade of the month. And last week, we said here we are expecting market to drop and we gave this as trade of the week on our last Sunday session. We were expecting market to drop more. Instead, we've got this down wave, corrective structure, one will push down. Some traders took partial profits here and then market started to go up. So this should be small profits or break even trade. If you are still holding, you have to close your trade at break even. Why is that? For this one, the way market is moving, we do not like it. Even if you are in the sell from these levels, you move your stops and let market unfold. US oil can give us one more push up before this fall. So if you are not in the sell, wait market to give you one push up for another down wave. This down move will be coming. Gold for this one, I hope all of you trade gold are in the buy. Market went up, it gave us a corrective structure. Up, correction, up, correction. Another up wave, a corrective structure, and this up move. Do you remember what we said from here? We said market will be going up, correction, like this. Do you remember that? This is exactly what market is doing. Those of you who are in the buy and still in, you move your stops and let market unfold. Do not close your trade, move your stops to profits, not break even, and let market do whatever it wants to do. For this one, we can see it pushing more up before the next down wave. At the moment, we can still see gold going up. Those who are not in, you leave it for now. We can see this one pushing up, corrective structure, one will push up before any down wave. And by the way, these are the lists that are covered on every Sunday. YouTube list as in-depth analysis, indices, other forex pairs, cryptocurrencies, stocks, and requests. Dollar cat for this one, market was dropping from here. We've got a corrective structure, another drop. We were expecting this corrective structure to be bigger than that. Instead, market just went down from here all the way to 1.25. We are expecting market to correct for another drop. Corrective structure, one more push down. So those of you who are not in the sell, you leave it for now. And those who are in the sell, you move your stops into profits and wait. Those of you who are not in and want to go for this buy, be very careful with these buy setups. This corrective structure, it might be deeper than expected. Silver for this one, market went up. Basically from here, market went in. We said this is a corrective structure. Next wave is towards the upside. Market went up, gave us a corrective structure. It went back up. We said last week, a corrective structure, one more push up. Market gave us a corrective structure, it went back up. So we hope all of you trade silver, get in this buy, and you made profits. What next? We are expecting a corrective structure downwards for another up wave. We are biased to the upside. After this corrective structure, an up move will be coming. Bitcoin for this one, we are expecting a down move to start soon. And this down move, we are expecting it to be a small one. After the corrective structure here, we will see the market, how it will behave, and we will update you. At the moment, we are expecting a down move for Bitcoin. More details regarding this one and other coins will be discussed in details by T on Sunday session. 
Most traders, they start to trade, they lose big, and then they decide to learn. Don't be most traders. You have to learn first, and then you risk your money. With that note, I wish you a successful trading week. Thanks for watching. We hope that you learned something new. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. This is very important. Leave a comment. Stay safe. Trade with care. And see all of you next week.